we're doing a different type of video and today we're going to be learning about Kubernetes Goat and so Kubernetes Goat is basically an interactive Kubernetes security learning playground uh, basically looks in Kubernetes for a more security looks at Kubernetes in a more security way and if you don't know what Kubernetes is I highly recommend you guys to check out um, some videos or some blogs anything which will uh, basically tell you what Kubernetes is and so you can get the basic concepts of it down so let's just get into the video so do you want to you want to go to this website motherwalkler.com kubernetes uh go and motherwalkler is a person who has who has made this kubernetes project you can say you can see his github um all of the scenarios everything the documentation everything on this uh so it's a really it's a world world renowned project and it's very um you can say it's very nice uh, for them, so we'll let's just go get started with Kubernetes. Let's just click this, get started with Kubernetes, and we we'll just get into how to run. So we can run Kubernetes Go using different ways and providers like setups like AWS, etc., etc. Uh, the one that I've done and most people have done is Kubernetes. Uh, the standard cluster. Basically, what this will do is just uh, you've got a prerequisites kubectl and Helm. So just click on these and install these very quick, simple. Uh, first, Kubernetes. Um, you have to download Kubernetes kubectl. This is the main command command line tool for Kubernetes. So just download this, easy downloading. And this is basically these three kind of, you can say, cluster, making these clusters. So kind, you got kind, minikube, and kubedium. Minikube is the one that I have run. Um, and it's quite simple. Uh, easy v cube, v mini cube. It's quite simple. Just your pre the specs on your thing which you're running on. And copy this and you're done. Paste it and yep. Yeah. And if you are gonna use kind, there is a different type of documentation on how to run that. So if you just go back on how to run kind, just click on kind and this is the one you have to follow. But if you're using mini cube or cubedium like me, just spin up the cluster that and you wanna also install Helm. Uh, Helm is basically a, um, a packet, uh, package installer for Kubernetes. So yeah, just download that easy. And after you've done everything, you got to clone the repo, uh, go into it and just uh, bash set up Kubernetes Go. It's a simple script. And yeah, that's it. Uh, then the pods will be running in your cluster. Then you got to... It takes a while for all the pods to be boot up and run. So when you've done that, go into the scenarios, and this is basically the first scenario. First scenario is sensitive key code bases, which we'll be doing, and all these scenarios. So all these scenarios I'll be doing in in the videos uh, which are going to be coming up. The first we're going to focus on the sensitive code bases. The sensitive key in code bases. Um, let's look at the overview. So. The scenario is to focus on some popular mistakes by developers and DevOps teams when packaging and the artifacts and application code bases. It has some real world impacts like, like the compromise of organizations and the infrastructure in the wild. So just a little example with the picture. So by the end of the scenario, we'll learn how to do this stuff. So how to test security misconfiguration in web al applications, entry points, Common mistakes or misconfigurations of packaging application and containers, detecting sensitive keys and information and version control system code bases, and using open source tools to identify these threats and detect these secrets. So the, uh, the story, the developers tend to commit sensitive information to version control systems as we're moving towards more of a CI and CCD and GitHub systems. We tend to forget to identify sensitive information in code and commits. Let's see if we can find something cool here. So here's a local host. Uh, and this will happen when uh, you in Kubernetes go. Uh, so first you actually have to, um, after you know all the pods are running, they're running and you have to basically in the Kubernetes uh, repo, and the Kubernetes Goat repo, you just gotta uh, bash access to Kubernetes Goat SH script. I've already done this, and then you'll just go to the website and your local host 121230, uh, and we basically have this. 
So we see build code. Welcome to the build code. This service is built using CI CD pipelines and modern tool set like GitHub, stuff like that. Okay. So now what we can do is basically now we can just start uh we can start uh enumerating and see what this is about. So as you know mostly if it has git so we know that there could be a dot git. So this is w get and dot git. And you see this response hasn't worked, so we could also try dot git dot config. And you see it has Okay, it's, we are allowed to see it. So we just go into this, and we can just try dot git dot config. And we see basically we see this. So this could mean something at least. So we can just go back to the uh, Kubernetes go website and see here. So the goal of this scenario is to obtain the sensitive Keys available in the code bases, which includes the application code container and infrastructure. If you obtain the AWS access key ID and the secret key ID and the KH flag value, then you've completed this scenario. And it's basically the solution walkthrough. You can you can go through this if you don't understand or something like that. So we see here there is uh he's we've he's we've basically done what he's done, and we can also we can clone. Something like this git dumper, which will basically dump all the stuff for us uh, because we know we're we know they're using basically a git dot git, basically a GitHub stuff. So we can just copy this. Yeah, but uh, first you need to do you need you need to download git dumper. So if you just open that up, all right, open this up. Yep, yeah. let's go through here and just just re just clone this repo. I've already done that. And I believe it's on my opt folders. Hold on. Yep, the git dumper. We just go to this and we see the git dumper. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. We basically just need to see the Python 3 git dumper, and then basically this provides the URL, which is the localhost dot git folder. And this is basically the entry point, uh, entry point like. Where you can put all these files in, so all of these stuff will go into dot git. Yes, okay, it's dot go dot git. Um, yeah, well, that's what we can do. We can just run it here. Okay, so let's just go back to our. Uh, just like to go back to studio and Bali. and we can put it here. We've got to just change the path. Just opt and get dumper, get dumper, and we just enter. Basically, this will just go through all of them. And ls, we can do a quick ls when we see ka stop go dot get. Go through here, and we see we basically have all of this stuff. So we, we what we can do is a git log because we are in we are basically in um, basically are in the k go git so we just do git log and basically this will basically log all the commits um, the person has done in this case Madhuakla who has made this uh, scenario. Um, so all these commits and and what when they've done it and if they've gone to master or not and they're basically the description so here we have simple commit the final release maybe this is all of them and just put it to master uh, simple update the docs update the endpoint and routes you know all simple uh, include included custom environment variables this is the one that is uh, looking a bit different and added ping and everything all simple except this so what we can do here is I think we can oh, let's just remember we can just git log yes we've done this and we see that this git we can use git checkout to just basically check out the a type of commit we want to see so this is basically the uh, checkout and it will basically be in the state of 
the commit ID. So just copy that, paste this, and basically, if you see the commit ID is the one included custom environmental variables. Enter, and now we are basically in an environment which the basically the commit is. So what we can do here is just ls. You see everything is changed different now. So we can do lsala to see what we're working with, and we see there's a dot nv a file. It's not even a folder; it's just a file. What we can do is just cat that and see if there's anything in there. And here we go. We see there's a key ID. We'll just go back to what we need to find for this scenario. We need to find basically AWS access key ID. Secret access key ID and the goat flag. Okay, it's goat flag, and we basically completed the scenario. And we see we have all of them here, so that's pretty cool. We've basically done the scenario. The scenario just focuses on on. It's quite simple as it's the first scenario, and just focuses on simple security stuff. So never basically add, publicly make that. Uh, Make them access your doc doc git if you are running it on a GitHub. Basically, um, never make make it publicly accessible. Then you can just use these open source tools like Git Dumper. Just put in the uh, URL and done. You got basically all of the Git stuff. You can Git log, then get everything. Get all the commits. See one commit which looks uh different. You know, go in there and just see everything. Which has been done, so that's very crucial and quite simple too. But it can happen in the real world, and yeah. So that's basically one method to do it. There is also another method which I'm not going to show because that one's a bit, uh, you can say it's a bit uh, more different, and it's like you can you can still do it, but it's a, it's a bit more advanced. And so that's basically it, and some references. And basically, see why we shouldn't commit secrets into source code repositories and stuff like that. So basically, this scenario is just a, a easy, quick scenario. It basically, just focuses on why Kubernetes is so important and what we can do with the information we've given. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, a uh, quick video, and yeah, I just wanted to shout out Mother Wakala for creating such a good. Um, project here you know it's worldwide everyone does it and it's, it's quite informative too you know the scenarios do quite, quite go up to you know some cube audits you know how to audit and you know stuff that stuff like that so yeah so big shout out to mother Akla for making such a good project and yep that's it i'll catch you guys next time see ya